The Very First Adventure of Fulton T. Firefly Written by Laura and Noah Margo and Phil Margo Illustrated by Mitch Margo Fulton the Firefly never met an airplane that he didn't like. Of course, that was because Fulton loved airplanes. He loved big airplanes and small airplanes. He loved airplanes that went fast and airplanes that went slow. He loved airplanes that flew straight and airplanes that did loop-de-loops. Even though Fulton could zoom through the air and shine really bright, it wasn't quite enough. Fulton wanted more. He wanted to fly as high as the amazing jumbo jets that roared over his head. He wanted to see the world from way above the clouds. His mother, Amber, thought he was crazy. You'll get sucked into one of those engines and blown out the other side in a gazillion pieces. You shouldn't be playing around in people things, his father, Sparky, would add. Roger, Wilco, said Fulton, talking like a pilot. Then he added, is getting sucked into an airplane engine any worse than getting caught in an empty peanut butter jar? His friend Flash also teased him. He called him Fulton the Flyboy. Most of the fireflies did not want to fly around with Fulton because he flew too high and he would get in the way of the birds and the flying squirrels. They would scold him. You don't belong here, little lightning bug. Scream! Fulton never liked being called a bug. It was almost as bad as being called an insect. Nevertheless, Fulton knew what he liked and what he did not like. He certainly did not like hanging around and being teased. Instead, Fulton would go where he liked to go, the airport. He would hover outside the control tower all day and night. There, he could listen to the people talking into the weird things on their heads. Fulton liked these people because they got to talk to the airplanes. They would say things like, 58 Tango cleared for takeoff, and 07 Foxtrot, you're cleared to land on runway 29er. Fulton enjoyed all the fun names that the people in the tower gave to the airplanes. There was one pilot that Fulton loved to watch, Captain Julie. She flew a very big plane that carried many people. Captain Julie was a very safe pilot and always made the smoothest landings. Then one night, while Fulton was at the airport, everything suddenly became pitch black. Fulton could not see the runway, and he heard the people in the tower saying words like, Blackout! No place to land! And emergency! Fulton thought about all the people on the airplanes without a place to land. He was worried about Captain Julie. She was supposed to land very soon. Fulton didn't want Captain Julie or any other people to get hurt. He thought and thought, and then came up with a plan. Fulton raced home to share the news with the other fireflies. But when he arrived, he saw the most horrible thing. Nothing! No mom, no dad, no friends! Fulton was confused at first. But it didn't take him very long to figure out what happened. The people had come and captured the fireflies. It seemed that when fireflies were needed the most, the humans took them away. Fulton had to find his family and friends. Fulton could not waste any time. He started his mission. He zoomed everywhere searching for his friends and family. He figured that during a blackout, fireflies should be easy to find. Fulton flew high in the air. Then, off in the distance, 
he saw a faint glow. As Fulton approached the glow, he spotted a row of jars. He stopped his tail from shining so he would not be seen. Inside the jars, he saw Amber, Sparky, Flash, and all the fireflies that teased him. Turn off your lights, Fulton whispered through the jar. Why? asked Flash. There's no time. Do what I say, Fulton commanded. And without any more argument, Flash and the other fireflies turned off their lights. Now everything was dark. Soon after, the humans came and saw that the fireflies had no glow left. A burnt out firefly is boring, they thought. They emptied the jars on the ground. Follow me, said Fulton. We have something very important to do. With confidence, he shouted, Firefly Squadron cleared for takeoff! Without knowing exactly what they were doing, the fireflies followed Fulton to a large open field. He had the fireflies line up in two straight lines and blink their lights. High above, Captain Julie's big plane was in trouble. She was running out of fuel and had no place to land. Suddenly, the sky began to glow. Captain Julie saw two strips of light that led straight to the runway. Contact, Fulton shouted as he spotted the airplane. Captain Julie could now follow the trail of fireflies and land the plane safely, which she did. She really greased that landing, Fulton said, beaming with pride. All the passengers cheered. Woohoo! The airport controllers cheered. Woohoo! And most importantly, Captain Julie and all the other fireflies cheered. Woohoo! Amber and Sparky were very proud. Because of what Fulton and the other fireflies did, the town passed a law that said that fireflies could never be caught and put in jars again. Fulton T. Firefly was a hero. The end.